Hi, I want to uh, encourage all of my friends out there to stop using that pernicious and incorrect word, race. Now I know that there are, you know, language Nazis and anthropologists out there who are going to say, wait a minute, this is a word in our lexicon and it has a meaning. Yeah, it does, but it's a harmful meaning because it's a bastardized meaning. Race, in our culture now, refers to cultural groups. And it's true in all cultures. It refers to an ethnic group, okay? Or a cultural group. And sometimes cultures are broken down into ethnicities. Well, they always are, right? But the part of the word that's so dangerous is the race part, because race originally meant species. Okay, it included culture differences, but it was originally made, the word was originally coined in Victorian times, and it was done so to subjugate the African tribes and to make them be understood as another species so that it wouldn't seem so bad that we control them and hurt them the way we do to other species, which we call animals, which I don't. I don't call them animals doesn't make any sense if you're an animal to call another animal an animal unless you're having a scientific discussion. They're just other species, okay? All of this comes from religion. It comes from God gave the animals to the people to use with them as they would. And that's why they abuse them, because they think they own them. Okay, so my main point is to create peace and harmony in the world. And you can only have that through understanding and conversation, otherwise known as peaceful negotiation or reconciliation. You can't have peaceful reconciliation or negotiation if you're calling another group of people another species because we haven't reached the spiritual level where we respect other species. And again, that's why they called the African tribes another race, so they could justify abusing them as we abuse other species, animals. Okay, so I know there are people out there saying, but if we stop using the word race, then we'll stop paying attention to racism. Exactly. I don't want to pay attention to racism. I don't want anybody to. I want you to pay attention to culture differences because those things are negotiable. The guy who sets his backyard on fire every month as part of his worship of the moon and makes your children cough with asthmatic attacks, he's not that way because of his DNA, which is really what race breaks down to, okay? He's that way because of culture. And it's okay to say that you don't like another group's cultural practices. Yeah, I know, again, the PC police out there are going to say, that's racist. It's not racist. Some people don't like the color purple. Some people don't like that others set their lawns on fire. You can talk about these things, and that's what we should do as people in societies. You know, if you have a neighbor who wants to marry a young girl who's, like, not 15 yet... You don't have to like that, which means you don't have to respect it, okay? PC parlance says that you have to keep quiet to keep peace, you know? But that doesn't make any sense. And that's why we don't solve any problems in society with the speed that we could, okay? So, I say, since there are no Martians, there can't really be any credible people who stand on the street corner with a sign that says... Don't mate with the Martians. I'm not for interplanetary breeding. We would laugh at those people because Martians don't exist. So why don't we laugh at people who say, I don't think that we should mate with the black people. We all know that there are black people, Japanese people, and white people. There are Asian people who adopt different cultural norms. The United States is one of the best examples of that. Well, not the best. It's actually one of the worst examples of that. But if you go to England or you go to Amsterdam or you go to European countries, even if you go to Asia, where there is a heavy amount of xenophobia, you will find that the people don't shoot one another. They don't attack one another too much because of ethnic differences. OK, yeah, the Koreans and the Chinese are still pretty guilty of hating the great-grandfathers of the modern-day Japanese and grouping the modern-day Japanese in there with them, you know, but they're very humane to one another, okay? And it's true that they do think, a lot of them do think that they are separate races, but they're not. You see, 
Every one of you out there right now is the same race as I am. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if your earlobe is attached or not. I don't care if you have an epicanthal fold, which stretches your face like this. I don't care if you have high cheekbones. I don't care if you have longer legs and you can beat me in the high hurdles, in the 400 meter dash. We are the same race, okay? We are the same race. We are the same species. We have different cultures. And that's what we should be talking about, okay? It doesn't serve any of us if when a guy cuts you off in traffic because his religion says that that's a good thing to do on Friday, you say to him, that's because your skin is pink. It doesn't solve anything, right? We have to stop attacking one another's appearance, which is superficial. And we have to start talking about one another's culture differences, which is real and official. Just think of it this way, if any of this was too complicated. You don't call a calico cat or a tabby cat something different. They're cats. They just have different color fur. That is as deep as our differences go biologically as human beings. And to put the icing on the cake, I'll put you to sleep by telling you something I've told you in essays and poems and videos too. There haven't been different races of humans on this earth since Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal lived together. And you know what they were? They were subspecies. Okay? So if you think because you're black or you're Korean or you're white that you're a different race, then you're a subspecies. How does it feel to be a subspecies? Huh? You don't want to be a subspecies. You're a human. You're a homo sapien. And every one of you listening is a homo sapien. Nothing different at all. So stop using the word race, because if you do, it means you're a racist. Have a nice day.